Look what we got here. Got us a box from uh, ExtremeKnives.com. They uh, they specialize in one particular brand um, that's overseas, a company from Italy. Anyways, this is a straight open box review. I have not um, just got this box. Just coming today. All right, let's see what's in this box. Let's see. Um, what is in this box today? Boxed up pretty well. Uh oh, that's a surprise. They sent me a t shirt. Wow, this is a beautiful box. <clears throat> Look at here Extremo Ratio. This is a company out of out of Italy. They specialize in tactical and survival weapons for for the military. There's not a lot of companies in the uh, United States that sell these knives other than knives shipped for free and uh, GP knives. But there's not a lot of companies uh, locally that sell these particular knives. There's a nice little knife sheath and the shoulder sling. Right, we don't care about what's in the box. Actually, we do care what's in the box, just all this extra doodad stuff. Well, this is packaged very well. I don't know why I cut that, but it was a Ziploc. Man, that was stupid. Anyways, yes, this is a Parain design. I was looking for a large chopper, and I got one. Look at that bad boy. The spine on that. It's about the width of my old top Anaconda. This has N690 steel. Not a lot of companies from the United States use this steel. It's pretty much a uh, VG10 on steroids. Um, has a nice little chul in the front. But I was looking for a large chopper. Um, there's I've given up on the one tool option. You need you a large chopper and a, and a mid-size bushcraft knife. And I'm looking right now at the uh, Bark Rivers Bushcrafter 2 with CPM 3D steel. But I was doing a lot of research on a good parade design and um, my general consensus is this is the best production parade that you can buy on the market. Um, you can go custom. There's a guy in the UK, Dorset Wood Blades. He makes an excellent parade, but he's on a very long waiting list to get a knife made by him. But overall, I'm impressed. The, the grip on this comes with a nice lanyard. You can lock in. Um, it's got some heft to it, but I could tell if I just if I just needed one weapon, just uh, one tool out in the field, I could utilize this to do smaller tasks. I mean, you could feather with this. I mean, I wouldn't use it for that. This is I'm going to be using this for tying and chopping, doing heavier tasks. But this definitely got some weight in the front. You can definitely tell that this is a, this would be an excellent chopper. Um, a friend of mine owns this knife, lives in Costa Rica. Um, he said this is a, a great parade. I mean, you can use this thing to baton, split wood, uh, use it to remove a bunch of heavy brush, but Overall, I am very impressed with the fit and finish of this knife. I guess this is in the machete family. <laughs> Look at this sheath. Now, we all know most companies don't give you a good sheath. I'm, I'm a Kydex man, but this is a very well-made, heavy-duty Kador nylon sheath. 
It's got the Molly system in the back if you want to attach it to your pack. And it's got a shoulder strap so you can carry it across your chest like this or upside down vertical. Um, that's a very nice heavy duty Kedora sheath. I know I was a huge Topps fan and their sheaths were absolutely trash. Um, and came with a nice Extreme Ratio t-shirt. I'm not going to open that up to show that, but um, I just might be a new fanboy for Extreme Ratio. This is just an excellent, I mean, I don't know how well it's going to do on the field, and I'm holding it now, and it's, god dang, that sucker's got an edge to it. Let's see the Made in Italy. Extreme of ratio. That's how big that sucker is. This is a beautiful knife. I can't wait to get this out on the field. Yep. All right. Well, that's my unboxing. It's a extreme of ratio Creos, the Parane. Y'all have a good one.